Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rekach Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Peace and blessings and salutations to the men that's pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, and risking their life and freedom to do so now more than ever. And peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters that are listening and learning. To y'all say Shalom. All right, it's the brother you want to thank coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, now, as much as we hate Esau Edom, on this side, man, we we hate two thirds of our people, man. All right, just as much. All right, because, hey, man, our people are just truly wicked. All right, you know, they don't seek the Lord. All right, you know, they their mind is full of folly. All right, everything they do, they think about wickedness, man. All right, on this side, we hate the two-thirds of the nation of Israel just as much as Esau, man. All right, because, you know, they don't even want to repent. All right, and we have to understand, you know, these are the same spirits coming back. All right, you know, these are the same spirits back then. All right, that was um, saying crucify him, crucify him to our Lord. All right, the one, uh, the same spirits that uh, persecuted the prophets, all right, the apostles, all right. So we, you know, the two thirds of the nation of Israel are just wicked on this side, man. And that's why, hey, you know, when you go to uh, Zechariah chapter, uh, thing, Zechariah chapter eight, and the, uh, the thirteen verse, you know, two thirds of the people, you know, two thirds of the nation of Israel on this side, man, had to be destroyed, man. All right, because they just can't get right. All right, and we understand in the times to come, all right, in Jacob's trouble, all right, when the Lord is going to put, you know, when the Lord is going to have his judgment on the nation, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, we understand why the Lord ain't going to be dealing with them in that time, man. All right, Salak so is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. All right, forgive me, okay? But we understand why the Lord ain't going to have mercy on these on these dudes, you know, Lord willing, they do repent, all right, but we know they not, man, all right, Th these the same niggas from back then, all right, and I'm going to start from Isaiah uh, chapter 1, verse 15, and it says, and when ye spread forth your hands, I would hide mine eyes from you, yeah, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear, your hands are full of blood, man, all right, and that's the day, man, that's the nation of Israel, man, all right, right now, all right, when we have in grace, all right, when this is the time to repent unto the Lord, all right, and, and try to be renewed, all right, through these scriptures and through the spirit, all right, these people are playing around, man, all right, and Jake is known from what, all right, when they about to be on their deathbed to call on the Lord, all right, but what about the time you had now, all right, these people are, are, are taking this thing for a joke, all right, because they don't understand the judgment of your Yahweh Shemal Shah, all right, hey, and that's why, hey, Lord willing, are right, you brothers, all right, and Lord willing, you know, we be saved in these times to come because we understand, man, the terror of your how about Shemal Shah. All right, but these niggas don't care. All right, and that's why what? All right, that's why they doing the things that they do. All right? Um, Let me grab. Uh, bear with me. Let me grab Micah. All right. This is Micah chapter 3. I'm going to go to verse 4. It says, Then, uh, let me see. Yeah, Micah chapter 3, verse 4. Then they shall cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they behave themselves ill in their doings. All right? You got, hey, hey Scripture says that he, he will even hide his face from them at that time. All right. So when you got these U.N. troops, you know, when martial law is implemented and you got these U.N. troops are right, coming in your house, you know, ravishing your woman all right, killing your family members. All right. That's the time you're going to be calling on the Lord. But the Lord going to hide his face from you niggas, man. All right. Rightfully so. Because why? It says as they behave themselves ill and they're doing, man. All right. You niggas know you going off. But what do you do after? Oh, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to pray to the Lord after I'm done doing this wickedness, man. You, you know, you niggas be willfully, um, willfully sinning, man. All right. 
And, you know, and the scriptures does say, if we say we have not sinned, then we are alive. But what do we do? All right, us men of the Lord, Lord willing, all right, we acknowledge our sin, all right, and we stop doing it, man. All right, to the best of our abilities, man. All right, but these niggas out here, what do they do? All right, they know that uh, sleeping with another man's wife is off, but they still do it anyways, man. All right, oh, I, you know, I'm, I'm just repent after I'm done doing it. All right, knowing that, you know, smoking weed is going off. All right, and these niggas do more wickedness than that, but, you know, just trying to edify on the point. All right, the point is, man, these niggas know, all right, you know, they, they these niggas know the law, all right, but they willfully sinning. And that's why the Lord is going to hide his face all right, from you niggas, man. All right, rightfully so. All right, and even tells you that what? It tells you that in uh, Proverbs, the first chapter, man, that they shall eat um, the ways of the... Hold on, I don't want to butcher the scriptures. All right. Uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. All right, bear with me one second. Uh, it says that what? That they shall... They shall eat of their own fruit. And this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse uh, 31. And it says, therefore, they shall eat of their own. Shalak, yeah, they, therefore, shall they eat of their fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, man. All right. So in this time, you calling on Cesare, our Caesar Borgia, you know, you calling on him. And at that time, call on him, man. All right. Because the Lord ain't going to be hearing you niggas prayers, man. All right, especially that the times we are in, you got these niggas doing a crate challenge, man. All right, you got these people on the internet, all right, talking about bullshit. Nothing that, you know, nothing that has anything to do with salvation, man. All right, and that's why it says our people have been led to a slaughter. All right, and, and, you know, these people in these churches ain't preparing them. All right, but hey, what do they do? All right, they they uh, mock the men of the Lord. They misuse the men of the Lord when we on the highways and byways. All right, you know, they think that we playing, man. We just out there, you know, we just out there because, you know, we just, you know, out there on our own will, man. All right, so that's why in that time to come, you know, the Lord going to hide his face from you niggas, man, rightfully so. All right, you niggas willfully sinning. All right, you know, you can just expound more and more, man. All right, but this is the wickedness wickedness of our people. All right, and I'm gonna go to Ezekiel. I'm gonna go to um, verse verse eighteen. This is Ezekiel eight chapter. Uh, this is Ezekiel eight verse eighteen. And it says, therefore, um, I'm gonna start at verse. I'm going to start at verse 17, and it says, Then he said unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? It is, it is a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here, for they have filled the land with violence. All right? You, all these cities here in, in, in Babylon, man, are the most that got, you know, uh, crime, uh, you know, all those things and that such is areas filled with Jake, man. All right, and we understand, you know, that goes, you know, that back to the curses. All right, you know, a man shall have an uh, evil eye toward his brother. All right, but Jake is the one that's committing these uh, crimes in these areas, man. All right, and it says, and have, and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose, man. All right. Yeah. How about Shemel? Hey, man, just like how the scripture says, if there wasn't a remnant and we can get that. All right. You know, the Lord will have to do away with the nation of Israel. And we know that's not going to happen. All right. But, you know, because the Lord has made a remnant. All right. But, hey, man, these niggas is wicked, man. And to give some insight on that. Um, going back to. Yep. Isaiah. First chapter, all right, and it says, is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9, except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, all right, and no places were destroyed, man, all right, but the Lord has uh, has left a remnant, man, all right, and that's the elect, 
Verse 10, hear the, hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom, and give, it, and give ear unto the law of our power, we people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, said the Lord? I am full of burnt offerings of ram and the fat of fed beast, and I, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or lambs or of he goats, man. All right, because hey, it was coming to a point in time. All right, Jake was just committing, all right, uh, committing wickedness and sins. Then go do a, a burnt offering after that, man. All right, and and that's the wickedness of Jake here to uh, here today, man. All right, they know what they doing is going on, but they still do it anyway. Uh, Lord, forgive me. All right, what does that scripture say? The, hey, the Lord has called every man everywhere to repent, man. Because the judgment here is going to be so cruel, man. But these people don't understand the terror of the Lord. And that's why that scripture says what? Let me get it. Um, bear with me one second. Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Uh, that is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. All right. So there, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We understand the judgment and the terror of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. And that's why we go out on the highways and byways. All right. Um, um, give our body. I mean, you know. Uh, we go on the highways and byways and, you know, give our body as a, uh, is it daily sacrifice? All right. Or, you know, you know where I'm getting that. So like you're kind of losing my train of thought. But and that's why we make these lessons. All right. The daily exhortations, because we know the terror of the Lord, man. All right. But these niggas don't. All right. And, you know, I'm going to close it out. You know, Lord willing, I'm going to close it out on. Uh, this is Romans chapter 10 verse, I'm going to start at verse 13 and it says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. All right. And, and what's the names of the true, uh, power in his son? All right. It, it, it's, uh, Yahweh, meaning he is, and, and what's the name of his son? Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers. All right. You need to know those names. All right, to be a so you could be saved. You need to know the names, man. All right, and it's not these other false names that these people are using. All right, and even tells you in Proverbs chapter uh, eighteen verse ten. All right, the name of the Lord is a. You know, let me get that right quick. All right, guys. Proverbs chapter. 18 verse 10 the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous run it into it and it's safe man all right and that's how powerful those names are man so you need to know those names man all right but you got different congregations saying all right you know it don't matter what you call them all right but we'll see in that time man all right especially to you ones all right that's you know teaching you um you know your congregation these false names are right, we gonna see in that time man all right and verse 14 it says how then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed man and that's these people all right these people don't believe in yahweh all right righteously all right and, and if they did you know their actions will show man all right and it says and how shall they believe in him slaki and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher all right you know you know, hey, I'm going to keep reading. And it says, and how shall they preach except they be sent, man? All right. To to be preaching this word. All right. You have to be. How about Shema Shai has to choose you, man? All right. You got many men that go to sem uh, um, uh, this seminary school. All right. And they, you know, believe that they could just learn this word. No, nah, the heavenly father has to choose you, man. All right. From the beginning of time. And it says. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring gr glad tidings of good things, man. All right. 
And it says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report, man? All right. And, and that's how we are, man. All right. The angels are seeing us and we pleading with these people, man. It's really the heavenly father. All right. We pleading with them going uh, on uh, on the highways and byways. All right. Uh, every week bringing out these videos are constantly edifying. All right. But these people don't believe in this report, man. All right. They don't, they don't believe in this. All right. They rather be, you know, they rather be, you know, into you know, this Egypt crap or Christianity or whatever. They don't truly believe in this, man. And that's why the judgment of a two thirds of the nation of Israel is going to be the, the, the way it is, the way it is, man. All right. You know, they're going to be destroyed, man. All right. Because they do not believe, man. All right. And it says, so faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. All right, and that's the elect, man, because only the elect is going to hear this word, man, and, and and stick to this thing, man. All right, endure to the end. All right. You know, scripture says the elect, the election hath obtained it, but the rest were blinded. All right. And it says, but I say, have they have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and the words unto the ends of the earth, man. All right, because in Matthew, the 24th chapter, all right, it says that what? That this word shall go out through the four corners of this earth, man. All right. You know, no man, no woman should have an excuse. All right. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. It says, in this gospel of the, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. All right. This word is going to go out. All right. And it says, but I say did not Israel know? First, first Moses said, I will prov provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people and by a foolish nation, I will anger you. But Isaiah is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. Salakia. But to Israel, he said, all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people, man. And that's a you two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Disobedient and gainsaying people, man. All right. You rather believe what this so-called white man will tell you or these false uh, teachers and false prophets will tell you. All right. But the Lord has set up his men. All right. And, you, you know, you disobedient to them. All right. You mock them. You misuse them. All right. You know, you know, we, hey, what do we do, man? We go out on the highways and byways, bring out these lessons, all right? And I know I'm repeating this, but it's the truth, all right? You know, bring out daily edification from many our right, brothers, all right? But what do these people do, man? All right, they gainsay, all right? They, you know, mock, all right? They do anything but not to serve the Lord, man. And that's why they judgment is going to be what it's going to be, man. So, you know, don't want to hit, you know, don't want to over edify, man. But that's the point, man. So with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah by Hashem. Double honor to the apostles and elders. A great millstone every well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful less scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom and Ababa.